Hi, Sharon Danley here with another in the series of wardrobe styling and management. Next in the series, we're going to look at shapes, line, fabric, color, and focal points. But this particular video is going to be on basic shapes. Four of the basic shapes that we're going to look at, and of course there's additional within each of those, are vertical, horizontal, diagonal, and curved lines. Knowing your body shape and line is really important when it comes to managing what you purchase and what you put together for your wardrobe. A really handy tool is a three-way mirror. Uh, even if you don't have an actual three-way mirror, you can always put a mirror on a closet door, let's say, and then another one inside, and you can use that to adjust. There's all kinds of ways of being able to see your figure not only from the front but from the back and equally from the side profiles. Other considerations are your height, your weight, and your facial structure. They're all part of it. Like as an example, when you're looking to find a new hairstyle for yourself, what you need to take into consideration is not just your facial shape, but also your head size in relation to to your body, your hairline, whether it's further back or further down, how long is your neck, where do your ears sit, uh, you, you know, all of those things need to be taken into consideration with the hairstyle. Well, the same thing applies when it comes to designing or creating or buying uh, ensembles for yourself that enhance and complement your figure type. And that means taking into consideration your head your, uh, your, your height, your weight, everything that you can imagine. And the other thing that you then need to take into consideration is paying attention to how curved or how straight the lines are in your body, coupled with your predominant characteristics. They must also be considered. So all of those things need to be weighed when looking at what to look for. So it's a smart idea to Take a look at yourself in the mirror honestly and write all these things down and decide for yourself what kind of body type you have before you go shopping. Now, in the straight category, you have a sharp straight, a straight, and a soft straight. A sharp straight would be someone who's tall, thin, with small hips and bust and broad shoulders, similar to an inverted triangle. Face is usually angular, diamond, or triangle with long, slender nose and high cheekbones. Straight is much like sharp straight, only it's more squared at the shoulders and square or rectangular in body shape. The face is square or rectangular and usually less sharp. Then soft straight is slight curved or rectangular body. The face has a slight oval facial uh, feature to it. Next is the curved, curved straight, and soft or rounded curve. Uh, a curved straight would be slightly rounded curved body type. The face has a soft edged with a rectangle or square facial features. Soft curved is oval and definitely curved body or elongated oval. The face is elongated and oval. And curved is rounded, curved hips, shaped waist, and full bust, voluptuous body type. The face is usually round or oval with rounded cheeks, full lips, and round or almond shaped eyes. So in thinking about a more straight or a more curved body, the thing to keep in mind for looking at the most flattering clothing for your body type will have the same lines as your body. So if you're more curved, you'll have more curved lines in your clothing. If you're more straight, you'll have more straight lines, both for your body and your face. When you go that route, you will have clothing that enhances rather than detracts from your face shape and your body shape. Now here's some ideas uh, for the straight body types. They usually suit, let's say, lapels can be sharp, notched, or pointed. Jackets uh, can be fitted or loose. Squared hem, contrasting buttons or trim, asymmetrical closings. And pleats can be pressed down, stitched down, or asymmetrical. Curved bodies suit uh, curved or rounded lapels, 
Jackets can be slightly fitted, defined waist, rounded bottom, curved closings, and pleats need to be soft, unpressed, gathered with ease. And your soft, straight bodies suit lapels that are sloping, rounded, pleated with uh, soft fabric, notched with soft fabrics. Jackets can have self-trim, be subtly defined waist, loose and unconstructed, and pleats pressed down with soft fabric. Now, when we think about the line in uh, framing a body, when we look at vertical lines, uh, they emphasize height as the eye is drawn up and down uh, the body to give a lengthening and slimming effect on a straight shape as the eye is uninterrupted. A single vertical line is more slimming than vertical stripes since the eye moves from side to side as well as up and down when looking at stripes. Thin vertical stripes add more to the illusion of height than wide ones. Height is an illusion use it to your advantage. Now horizontal lines emphasizes width as they take the eye from side to side and therefore have a widening and shortening effect. In most cases a series of horizontal lines like stripes are best avoided except for very tall straight figure types. Now diagonal lines emphasize either height or width. The length and angle of diagonal lines determine their effect on the figure. Diagonal lines generally have the same slimming effect as vertical lines and are better on soft curved bodies. The most common diagonals in clothing are the classic v-neck and long diagonal stripes which lead the eye up and down the body and add to the illusion of height. Short or shallow diagonal lines take the eye more side to side and up and down. These lines have the same effect as horizontal lines. And curved lines emphasize roundness as the eye takes longer to look at a curve than a straight one. Curved lines are seen as softer and less severe. They are considered best for the curved figure Elaborate curves such as ruffles or flounces draw the eye's attention and create focal points on a garment. They should be worn to show off figure assets but avoided uh, at figure problem areas. So that's it about lines. Remember to take a good long look at your body from every profile and write down what you think your figure looks like where it's whether it's more curvy whether it's more straight and then look in magazines and see what clothing would suit the particular figure type that you've designated yourself to be and remember every figure type works well with the right kind of line it's all about architecture so even studying architecture helps to bring the eye uh, in, in, into the realm of being more conscious about line and weight and shape. Anyway, play around with that and we'll see you next time.